Good day and welcome to the Best Self for Kids Youth Yoga Series sponsored by One for Health by way of a grant from the ESA Foundation. My name is Monife Marshall and I welcome you to today's series on mindfulness. Um, during today's challenging times, people are under a lot of stress and anxiety and mindfulness is a great way to sort of escape the craziness of society and just connect your mind with your body. So the benefits of mindfulness are extremely numerous, both for adults and for young people. But for our young people today, I want you to first understand, and our adults, understand the definition of mindfulness. So mindfulness is the practice and process of being in the present moment without judgment. I'll say that one more time. The definition of mindfulness is the practice and process of being in the present moment without any judgment. Now, why is that important? Because when we're in the present moment, there's no place for our ego. And if you think about what an ego represents, everything about our ego has to do with things that have happened in the past, or things that we'd like to happen in the future. But in each and every present moment, there's no ego. There's only peace, love, joy, and compassion. So staying present for even five to 25 minutes every day can have extreme advantages for both adults and their stress, as well as for young people. So before we get started with our mindfulness meditation, I'd like to talk with you about some of the benefits this practice will have for our youth. So the first benefit is decrease in reactivity. And what I mean by reactivity is mean being reactive to people. So if someone is annoying you and you react to them, chances are you're going to be um, annoying back to them, as opposed to taking in a few deep breaths being present and processing the words that have been delivered to you and instead of reacting to that person, being able to respond from a place of peace, love, joy, and compassion. So mindfulness helps us with responding versus reacting. It also increases one's curiosity. And in today's times, our young people are very curious, but it's always beneficial to be even more curious and more importantly, to, to seek the knowledge of your curiosity. So everything pretty much is available on Google. The answers to anything you may be curious about can pretty much be Googled these days. So, so increasing and following through on your curiosity is the second benefit that comes from mindfulness. The other benefit is tolerance. So a lot of young people today have very short, uh, tolerances. Um, people annoy them quickly and when you're mindful, when you practice mindfulness, people won't annoy you as easily because you are more tolerant to things they may say or things they may do. Another benefit is patience and this is for young people and adults alike. We can all benefit from being a little bit more patient, not only with others but patient with ourselves. And with that patience comes self-acceptance. When you realize you are where you're supposed to be at each and every present moment, it's easier to accept who you are and be patient with yourself and be kind and loving to yourself. Other qualities um, include academic performance. When you're mindful and relaxed, you're able to focus more on your schoolwork, receive um, information and retain it better. And you're also able to be a little more uh, rational and relational to people. So when you're mindful, when you're in the present moment, it stops a lot of the chaos that goes through our mind on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, this is a practice that um, doesn't come easily for most. When I teach yoga, I share that the mental aspect of yoga can a lot, can most times be more challenging than the physical. So we really want to take today's session and focus on the mental aspect of being mindful. So with that being said, we'll start in a comfortable seated position, either in a chair 
or on the floor, wherever you're most comfortable. But you want to be comfortable. We want to sit up nice and tall. We can rest our hands gently on our laps. Now, if we're in a chair, we do want to be sitting up straight, not slouching back in the chair, but sitting up nice and tall. Our feet want to be flat on the floor and the heels would be directly underneath the knees. So if you're sitting in a chair, your legs at, are bent at a 90 degree angle. Sit up nice and tall. And if you wanna use a candle to focus, help focus your, your eyes on, you want that candle to be eye level. If you're not using a candle, you can use a flower or a plant or anything that is beautiful and peaceful to you. So you wanna focus your eyes on that for just a few minutes as we prepare our minds and our bodies for a mindfulness meditation. So we're sitting up tall, our hands are relaxed, and our eyes are soft, halfway open, and we're just taking this time to come in contact with our breath. So without changing our breath, we're just being aware of our breath, feeling cool air coming through the nostrils, going down our throat, filling our lungs, and on the exhale, feel that air come out the nose. Nice, slow breaths, inhale through the nose. Feel the air come down the throat, through the lungs, and exhale slowly through the nostrils. If you're able to keep your lips sealed softly, notice the breath not being changed, but gently slowing down. Noticing the inhale through the nose may be a little cool. And then the exhale through the nose may be a little warmer than the inhale. Take a few more deep, slow breaths. And as we relax our breathing, remember to keep the mind focused on the breath. And if at any time our mind becomes distracted, we'll simply return our thoughts back to our breathing, acknowledging the distraction, but not becoming frustrated by it. Mindfulness takes practice and focus. And again, there's no judgment. So if we're distracted, we simply acknowledge the distracting thoughts and let our mind focus back on our breathing. As we breathe, we can relax the muscles in our face, soften the eyes, soften the nose and the face. If the teeth are clenched, relax the jaw, unclench the teeth, and feel the face relax. Eyes are soft. Feel the tongue floating freely in our mouth. And as we breathe, relax the muscles in our neck, relax our shoulders, which are down and back. Feel the straightness and strength in our spine. Imagine our spine pressing against a ruler. So it's nice and straight. Still focusing on our breath, inhaling slowly through the nose, down through the lungs, exhaling slowly through the nose. And as we breathe, we'll notice the chest and stomach gently rise and fall with each deep breath we take. Aware of the present moment, by each present breath. We can't go back and repeat a breath, nor can we breathe in a breath from our future. So focusing on our breathing is the best way to remain present. 
And as we breathe, noticing the rise and fall of our chest and stomach, let our mind focus on our arms, our wrists, hands, and fingers, softening and relaxing the arms, and bringing our awareness to our hips, noticing if there's any tightness in our hips, and if there is, gently relaxing those tight muscles with the exhale. Let our attention focus to where our body touches the chair or the floor. Acknowledging this connection with our body and the earth. If we're in a chair, our feet also serve as a foundation flat on the earth. If we're seated on the floor, our sit bones are the foundation of our posture. Just being aware of how we connect and where we connect with the earth. Settling into it and relaxing comfortably. Breathing, letting our focus come through our legs, our quadriceps, and our hamstrings. Gently relaxing our knees and our shins and our calves. Feeling relaxations in our feet, our toes. Letting our entire body Remain in a state of relaxation and mindfulness, remembering to focus on our breathing. With these next few breaths, we're imagining our body in a clear bubble of space, our own private space of peace, of joy, of love and compassion. Compassion not only for others, but also compassion for ourselves. Compassion to recognize the positive qualities we exist. These qualities that exist within us, our peace, our love, kindness, joy, compassion, and peace. As we breathe in all of these positive characteristics, on the exhale, we're letting go of anything in our body not conducive to those positive traits. So we're exhaling fear, exhaling judgment, exhaling pain, exhaling envy, exhaling jealousy, exhaling any tightness in our bodies, any stress, anxiety, or tension. And in our own mind, envision what we're inhaling that's positive and what we're exhaling that we'd like to rid our mind and body of in this very present moment. Being gracious for this ability to inhale peace and positivity and exhale negativity and negative qualities. When we feel our body full of all the positive qualities that we've been created to possess and letting go of all of the negative traits that find their way into our minds and bodies through society, we envision ourselves peaceful in this bubble, 
And then this bubble begins to float up into the clouds gracefully and slowly as we observe the beautiful qualities of our Mother Earth, of the green grass and the fresh air, beautiful trees and flowers. As our bubble ascends into the clouds, we soften our eyes. We stay in the present moment with our breath. And we envision our bubble landing on a perfect cloud, a soft, peaceful, fluffy cloud. And we rest in this cloud as comfortably as possible, allowing our bubble to release and just feeling the sensation of the cloud. And in this cloud, as we remain present with our breath, we remind ourselves of the positive qualities we possess, the qualities of peace, of love, of joy. And we tell ourselves in this peaceful place, I am full of peace. I am full of love. I am full of joy. I am full of compassion. I am loved. I am kind. I am thoughtful. I am considerate. I am respectful. I am tolerant. I am patient. And I am perfectly, divinely created to be positive. And as we breathe here, focusing on all of the positive qualities that fill our bodies and fill our minds. We rest and we breathe and we show gratitude. And with each deep breath, we become more full of life more full of love, more full of joy, and more self-aware of who we are and what we were created to accomplish. We bask in this present moment of peace and we breathe. We embrace this place in our cloud and we recognize all of the peace that surrounds us, all of the love and joy that we feel and we seal that into our bodies. deeper and deeper and deeper into a state of relaxation without judgment without ego as we breathe we slowly put ourselves back in the bubble the bubble of peace And we feel that bubble float back down into Mother Earth. And it lands in our favorite place outside, whether that place is on a warm beach in the sand or in a park with the grass. 
whether it's in a forest or a desert. A favorite outside place may be on our front porch or in our backyard. And in this peaceful place of nature, we focus on what we smell and what we hear, the sounds surrounding us, the fresh air that we smell, even the breeze that comes across our face and our body, we embrace. We embrace the energy that Mother Earth feeds our mind and feeds our body. And we remind ourselves that we are deserving of this peace. We are worthy of this peace. And we were created to embrace and share this peace. As we breathe and remember all of the positive things that we breathed in and all of the negative things that we exhaled out into the universe, we are grateful. We are appreciative of this present moment to heal ourselves of stress, to rid ourselves of anxiety, to fill ourselves to be more tolerant, to prepare our minds to be strong and to be non-judgmental of others and ourselves. We breathe and embrace everything good that was created for us. Everything to help us be the best people we were created to be. To manage our emotions. To respond to people as opposed to react to people. To respond to situations as opposed to reacting to situations. We breathe and we remind ourselves of the people in our lives, the positive people that have influenced us. And we think about the positive people we are able to influence as well our siblings, our family members, our friends. And as I count down from five to one, we'll slowly let our minds become aware of the present moment. Five, feeling our face and our body and where it connects with the earth. Four, aware of our breath, again, coming in through the nose, slightly cool, coming down the throat, through the lungs and out through the nose, a little bit warmer. Three, slowly moving our body gently waking the body, moving the fingers and the hands. Two, becoming aware of where we are, being present in this moment, and one, totally aware of our mind and our body. Gently touch the floor or rest the arms to our side as we breathe and embrace this meditative mindfulness. And we inhale the arms up, filling the lungs with air, connecting the hands, and slowly exhale to the heart center, closing the eyes. 
congratulating ourselves for taking this time to connect our mind, our body, our breath, and our spirit. Gracious of all of the positive characteristics that we breathe into our body. Thankful for the opportunity to exhale anything we don't need, anything that's not conducive to our peace, love, joy, and compassion. We take these three transitional breaths and remind ourselves all of the things that were created here in this mat on this space can transform into our everyday life. And we can be mindful throughout the day, throughout the week, and throughout our lives to share positivity and positive energy with those we encounter. Remind ourselves to be tolerant, to be kind, to be patient, and to deliver our words and our thoughts with love. All that is divine in me honors and blesses all that is divine in you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you all so much for taking this time to share a moment of mindfulness, a meditation that encourages us to fill our minds and bodies with things that are positive and to rid ourselves of things not conducive to healthy, positive living. We want to remind ourselves that in addition to mindfulness, the mental aspect of being present without judgment, it's very important to get proper rest every night, at least eight hours of sleep daily to drink as much water as our bodies can take. Drink water throughout the day, before we eat, before we shower, and before we go to bed. Keep our bodies hydrated. Make sure we're eating healthy foods in this time of uh, social distancing. Many people may be snacking throughout the day and we want healthy snacks. We want fruits and vegetables. We want colorful snacks that satisfy our minds as well as our bodies. And we want healthy meals full of fresh vegetables and healthy grains and smart proteins, minimizing saturated fats and dairies. And we wanna remind ourselves to be kind, to be kind to ourselves and to others. Other benefits of mindfulness for young people that I hope you'll share with your friends and relatives is it helps you to deal with bullying. So if anyone is experiencing bullying, when you practice mindfulness, you're able to cope with bullying much better. You're able to be compassionate to those that may be trying to bully you. And that compassion turns into a greater, self, a greater sense of self-esteem. It helps kids as young as elementary school kids with social skills and your ability to focus and to pay attention. The final benefit of mindfulness, especially in young people, is resilience. When you know that you can overcome any challenge that you're faced with, you can deal with anything life throws your way, you're able to be more compassionate and peaceful and kind and loving. So, understand the resilience of mindfulness and try to incorporate this practice into your daily way of being, your daily life. Five minutes, 25 minutes. I thank you all for your time and attention.